Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live projects for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. I would have taken ID equal username, but as it is showing ID equal email, I'm using ID equal email here. Similarly, I know I, uh, Selenium ID itself it took this password. Can you see here ID equal password? So it took the ID equal password. Similarly, for the sign in, here ID equal to sign in. Okay. So now this uh, now Selenium IDE uses this as I said ID will be the default thing. Most of the times we use ID. Uh, now sometimes we use name. Sometimes we use uh, this export cases. Okay. So these are called as locators. So as of now we use ID. Okay. By using this ID. Yeah. See here by using this ID. I am able to recognize the objects, right? Similar way, till this point any questions before we discuss further? Give me 5 to 10 minutes, we are going to complete this class. Okay. Any questions on this? Now we are we are able to locate the objects using ID. Okay. So similar way, in similar way we are going to discuss this other part. Before that, any questions here? Any questions? Say yes or no. If you have any uh, confusion, please let me know. Now, Judy, uh, you know, uh, we did not discuss how to download the Selenium. Actually, you joined the cut time, but uh, you have uh, that kind of uh, you know, perception that you, you missed something. Okay. But, uh, you know, we have discussed the previous class, then we have started today's class. Actually, while starting today's class only, you have joined. Any questions here? Say yes or not. Okay, Amrita is saying, I'm not understanding uh, what, when I do helping to install and then how can we let it practically. Amrita, I know these are, uh, you know, simple things like uh, Selenium IDE, this items. okay. One is related to other, okay. Uh, if you look into the syllabus, the next class is talking about Selenium IDE. Uh, so before uh, starting the next class, first I will explain how to install Selenium IDE and these add-ons. I was talking about uh, uh, this Firebug, right? Yeah, I will help you to download this Firebug and I will help you to download this fire, uh, Firefox, this Selenium IDE, okay? Because we had to, to be frank, we did not discuss anything in IDE. That I was just showing here. Okay? And apart from that, any other questions? Uh, no, I'm talking about these technical things. Okay, installation part, don't worry. Uh, next class, we are uh, no, definitely we are going to install the Selenium IDE and uh, Firebug. And we can see type value and we can see that also. Uh, yes, Kani, uh, yes, that's a good question. Um, can, all, can all of you see that? Uh, Kani is asking one good question, type value. Yes, you can use type and value. Suppose you don't have, uh, you know, here, yeah, yeah, what type is asking? Then we have type and value. Can we use these things also? Yes, you can use these also. But the thing is, uh, suppose uh, if you are not able to recognizing using your ID, okay, using your name, then you can prefer uh, something called export. Okay, 
Okay, you can prefer this export. In export, we will most probably we use this type, uh, you know, this value in conjunction. I mean, uh, by using this type and by using this uh, uh, what we call uh, value, we will try to recognize the object. Okay, in export, we will use these things. Okay, yes, we will use these things. Yeah, for your question, I can say yes. Is it clear, Tony? So we use in uh, export. We use these properties in export. Yeah. Bin is asking uh, if it is some other object, then its property is different. Am I right? Mm, yes. Yes, Bin. Yeah, definitely, Sesheka. Uh, I will talk to H2K, okay? Actually, they used, uh, it seems, uh, some trial version. Yeah, most probably from next class, we will uh, use uh, this trial version of Uh Julie, H2K will update you on that. Okay, sure. <laughs> Let's see here. So now I'm going here. Now observe here. This is I have used ID for this, right? So for the same object type, don't worry. I will explain. I uh, know what is this command target and value. You know, I will explain each and every feature here, each and every button here. Okay. We will discuss this Selenium IDE in next class. I will first I will explain uh, how to download and how to install Selenium IDE Firebug. Then uh, I will explain each and every feature here. Yeah. See here uh, for password. I'm now I'm going to take a name. Here, yeah, what is the name? Name is also the same thing. Okay. Observe here. I'm saying name equal to password, and I'm saying fine. Can you observe here? Let me delete this line. So here in this line, I'm using ID. In this line, I'm using name, but still the object is can uh, recognize. Okay. So that is the reason I'm saying most probably, most probably we prefer to use ID. Okay. And the what else we have? The other properties, locators. So I'm using name, and link text is the locator which will be used for only links. Okay, which will be used for only only links. Let's see here. Uh, can you observe here? Now, now once the password is getting highlighted. This is called as export. This is called as export. Okay. So this is called as export. Again, export can also be different types. Okay. So this is called as export. In similar way, we can have the CSS path. Okay. We will discuss in detail. Okay. Any questions on these topics? So here today we discussed about different objects available in a web-based application and how these uh, you know, different objects uh, you know, can be recognized using Selenium in different browsers like Firefox, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome. So each has its own way. So we, uh, you know, we are able to see this name, ID, uh, some set of properties. By using these properties, we are trying to identify. Uh, no, uh, tr we are trying to identify the objects in the application. Okay, so like ID, name, uh, inner text, I mean sorry, link text, export and CSS. Okay, yeah. As I said, Sisreka, uh, if ID name uh, is not uh, helping us, yeah, in that case, most probably we will go with e export. Even export is not helping, we will go with CSS. Okay. As I said, uh, no, by default we go with ID. Yeah, any other questions here? 
कोनल इज आस्किंग ऑन क्वेश्चन एनी प्रोग्रामिंग बैकग्राउंड रिक्वायर्ड फॉर सेलेनियम टेस्टिंग नो कोनल नो इट इज नॉट अ मैंडेटरी थिंग ओके बट हियर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हियर आई नीड टू से फॉर सेलेनियम टू लर्न द सेलेनियम फॉर दिस बैच देयर इज नो प्री रिक्वायर्ड टू हैव सम प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज बट फॉर सेलेनियम यस एंड वी हैव टू हैव सम प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज इन आवर क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न जावा ओके वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न जावा say even you don't uh, you, even you don't have any programming knowledge background that should be okay okay here we are going to learn java with respect to selenium whatever the knowledge that is required for selenium we are going to learn, learn that much java is it clear kunal yeah judy as i said uh, no suppose if you are not able to recognize your object using id then you will uh, no use name even by using name if you are not able to recognize your object you will go with export okay here i just explain how this export looks like okay the same object have been uh, identified by using id name and in, uh, this export okay this is really Yeah, that should be okay, uh, Kunal. Uh, that won't be a problem. Even if you are a pure manual tester, that should not be a problem. Here, as I said, in our batch, we are going to learn Java. How much Java, which is required for Selenium, you will, uh, you know, you will learn that. And I will, I will assure you that at the end of this course, you will be in a position to write a Java program uh, for, uh, you know, for a scenario. Okay. No, export it's, itself is a ocean. Okay, we have to discuss uh, you know, about export. Don't get worried. Okay. Yeah, Mohini, uh, you know, yes, you can write that script. Uh, that's what I'm saying. You know, at the end of the course, you will be in a position to write that. Yes, uh, you know, cloud browser testing will be successful. Yes, you know uh, that's what I'm saying, uh, Mohini and the others. Okay, end of this course, you will be in a position to write a Java program. To uh, you know, it's not like the Selenium IDE is nothing. Okay, this IDE is nothing. It's a basic tool. Okay, the prerequisite for learning Selenium is IDE. That's the reason we are learning. Here itself, we will learn some uh, important concepts. Then we'll uh, jump into some uh, you know enhancement. I was talking about uh, this uh, component side. Right? I think here in demo. Yeah, here actually the main part is this Selenium web driver. Okay, so here this is the place where we enhance. Uh, you know, as we are going to use uh, Java, we are going to enhance in Eclipse. Okay, this is the main part where we write a Java program and. Uh, Yep, uh, that is the reason uh, we are starting from uh, uh, Selenium IDE, Judy. Okay, this is the basic part. Okay, and whatever today we learnt, it's also basic. These are basics. Okay, in our next class we are going to start with Selen features of Selenium IDE. We are going to uh, discuss Selenium IDE. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information.
If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.